Hey YouTube, today we're doing Call of the Storm Lord. It's a uh, little fan art piece from the Critical Role universe. My take on Yasha, uh, one of the cooler characters. I mean, they're all cool, right? But like one of my favorite characters in the uh, in the show. I just like how she's a big, gnarly, tough chick. So uh, I'll explain here just a little bit about what I'm doing. I dropped in a 3D model real quick after I decided to sketch it out. Um, I think, what's the name of it? It's some sort of magic pose or something like that for um, iPad. I think it was only a couple bucks and um, it does a pretty good job of just getting you like a quick base in there to draw on top of. It's by no means anatomically perfect, so um, I wouldn't rely too heavily on it if you're going to try to use one of those. But um, you know, if you're trying to paint faster and you want to get some stuff done quickly, it can do the job. Um, a lot of times I just like to draw instead of trace over like a 3D thing like that. But um, other times it kind of just depends, kind of depends on how I'm feeling and how much time I have to work on something. Um, it's definitely a shortcut. So um, it's pretty similar to my other paintings here. All I'm doing is just tossing in some local colors on flats and then a multiply layer for some shadows and um, one of the most important things I think I've been doing lately is I've been using a brush with uh, a hue jitter on it so every brush stroke I lay down has a slightly different hue which helps kind of just give everything a much more natural feel um, you can get, I can get stuck in this sort of rut and I know a lot of people do too, where, you know, you lay down a few colors and then you start color picking on top of it and everything is weirdly the same color. Um, if you find that's happening, it's always good just to open up the color window and add in like a little bit of variation, you know, just nudge the hue slider left or right and then put down some strokes and then go back to the color wheel and change it up just a little bit because It'll really make everything feel a lot more alive. Um, if you look in the background right now, especially I've got, you know, kind of a lot of different colors bouncing around. And I think that's what helps make something a piece a little stronger sometimes. So, um, she's got really cool hair. She's got this, it's supposed to basically like go from like a black and then gradient sort of into a white. Um, I don't know if I did the best job with that. And it might be because, you know, I have her hair up and kind of out of the way. It probably would have been cooler if I would have brought her hair down um, on the side that we see her a little more. So the part that was the most fun to paint, though, was her burly arms. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty, pretty awesome, which, of course, I found lots of reference for. And you should, too, because trying to draw things without reference, unless you're, you know, Carl Kapinski or... Kim Jong-e is going to be a disaster. So it's okay. It's okay to use reference. You're not cheating. Just like me drawing over a 3D object is, is not cheating. You know, it's a shortcut. Now, relying on these things as crutches, that's not good. But learning from them and using them as tools is awesome. There's a big difference there. So um, a lot of what I do when I paint stuff is I like to paint it clean. And then after it's fairly rendered cleanly. I like to put in some scratches and scuff marks and beat it up. Um, if you try to paint all that at once, it can be kind of overwhelming. So sometimes it's good to split it up. Now the hilt of her sword is a disaster right now, and it's going to stay a disaster for a little bit until I realize what I'm doing. Cause that thing would weigh like 50 pounds right now, but it looks that way. Because I didn't have reference, you know? She has a sword that's serrated that I thought could be pretty cool. Um, but I think I ended up changing it because it just it wasn't reading right. It's kind of a weird angle. So don't be afraid to change your ideas. You know, if it's not working right, like just change it up. It's okay. So painting some storm clouds. I always like storms when they're green. I think it's really cool. Um, that's one of my favorite like green and purple and stuff. I really love it. So, uh, you know, this lady, Yasha, she ascribes to the, the storm Lord as her God. And, um, so I wanted to kind of put some of that in there, but anyway, this is a real quick, just a quick rundown of 
how I paint. Um, if you want to see more, I usually give like a 45 minute tutorial on Patreon every month. So head over there, check that out. And until next time, happy painting. I don't know. I need a good way to end these. Let me know. Write it in the comments. I think I'll use it. All right. <laughs> Later.